hammered them out, undercoated them, and now I'm touching up some of the marks, and then I'm going to sand them and retouch it up till it's perfect and spray it dark green. Sanding away the frame at long last. I'm going to spray the dark green. I'm going to spray the mud guards and everything else dark green, and then I'm going to go over with the glit afterwards. And let's hope this works. I'm trying to get this rally green is quite difficult. Back to sanding. As you can see, I filled the frame JB weld with some dents wear so that it's going to be smooth in the end. There was a dent in here, and I think there was a stand in it once. Where is that? There we go. There was a stand in it once, and there's dents on the bottom there. So I'm just getting rid of the dents in the frame and file that and sand that out, and it'll be ready for painting with the dark green. Yeah, I'm in the process of sanding the, uh, the mud guards of the rally bike. I filled them yesterday and I'm just getting rid of the access filler for a start and seeing if it's smoother for spray painting. Yeah, I do an, a grey undercoat so I can see the faults. It makes it much easier to see faults. There are some dimples in here where they riveted these units on, but that's basically um, in the bikes after they're finished, they're left, so I'm leaving them too to kind of give it some authenticity. Oh my god, he does. I just keep doing this until I get a really smooth surface here on the whole bike. It isn't that hard, you know, some people go on about it. Once you get going, you know, you do it one day and the next day you do a little fill in the more and then the next day you're undercoating and spraying. So, you know, patience. One thing I'm still learning and that is patience, you know. Take your time, don't rush anything. It only needs to kind of not finish, the finish not look as good. So there you go, look. Let's do this bit down here, I'm done. And then I'll pick up the other one. That's a little rust there still. But it's getting there. You know, the other parts where it's just a little bump is easier. Just do that, but get pretty close. This is a rough paper. This is just to get it, you know, down to the level again. Unless I have to do a little fill and do it wet and dry at the very end of this. You can see the bumps are disappearing now. Right? I'm going to have a beautiful fender in the end.